Hello again, welcome back. You know, Father and Son Investing YouTube channel got started by my son. His enthusiasm for investing uh, was contagious and he wanted to be able to share that with a lot of people. You know, he's really good at picking stocks. If you go back and look at some of our, his previous videos, you're gonna find some amazing gems in there. When he started his investment journey, he didn't have a lot of money. And so his budget only allowed him to purchase stocks or ETFs that were relatively low priced. And it can be that way for lots of us. You don't have to have lots of money though to be able to invest. So I want to be able to present to you today and the next video that I do, two stocks that are relatively inexpensive. And so if your budget is small, you can buy just two or three shares or even one share. But if your budget is larger, feel free to buy 50 or 100 or more. Today I'm gonna to present to you Sangamo Therapeutics, I will cover what its stock price is, we'll cover who they are, what they do, how they do it, and we'll talk about some of their partners and what the forecast is for their stock in the next 12 months. So without further ado, here is Sangamo Therapeutics. So let's just cut to the chase on the price of the stock. You can see right around $17 a share. So if you're new to investing or if you only have $100 to invest, it's a little tough to purchase. Uh, a stock that's a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars a share, obviously. So just looking at the price is not necessarily the only thing uh, to be looking at, but I wouldn't be presenting this to you if I didn't think that it was going to be uh, worth something. But seventeen dollars is an easy place to buy one or two or even three shares and still have some money left over to buy something else. So let's just talk about Sangamo Therapeutics for a moment. They're a company that's been around for about 25 years. They are a genomic company. Genomics certainly are the hot areas for stocks right now, but really I think a hot area for uh, the future of both medicine and potentially business and agriculture. Sangamo employs uh, 300 people. That to me is just astounding that they're running a hundred million a year revenue company with 300 employees. Much of the way that they're doing that is by partnering with other companies and what you see before you now is some of the companies that they are partnering with. Well-known companies like Biogen and Novartis and Pfizer. Sangamo is very good at what they do, which is the technology for cutting genes. They apply that technology through four ways. Through gene therapy, they aim to treat or potentially cure a genetic disease by adding a normal copy of a gene responsible for a disease. Through gene-edited cell therapy, they intend to infuse or transplant modified human cells into a patient for the treatment of a disease. For in vivo genome editing, in vivo means within uh, an organism, in this case, a human. So in vivo genome editing, that makes a permanent change to the genetic code of a cell. And then also they hope to do this through in vivo genome regulation, which is uh, turning a gene on or off. Now I've spoken with you before about some gene editing technology uh, namely uh, CRISPR, that's the technology that CRISPR Therapeutics uses. The way that Sangamo goes about editing genes is by using a different uh, nuclease, and this one is called zinc fingers, or zinc finger technology. So let's just briefly go over how these zinc fingers work. So the uh, zinc finger nuclease works as a dimer, meaning it has to have two parts. Now, you wouldn't necessarily just want these two parts hooked up together already, randomly floating through someone's DNA, splicing and dicing wherever they uh, feel like. So what happens is one half of the zinc finger uh, gets aligned with uh, the domain, you know, the ATCG that you might have learned in biology, and the other half of the zinc finger gets aligned with the domain on an opposite side of the DNA strand that one wishes to cut. When these two zinc finger proteins come into close proximity, uh, the actual nuclease is called FOC1 or FOK1. You have to be careful how you say that one. Uh, when these come into close proximity, then that uh, nuclease gets activated and the nuclease will then make the breaks uh, within the DNA. This makes a double-stranded break. Once the zinc finger has made its double-stranded break, of course you're going to have two pieces of DNA there, and then something has to happen to repair here. So if they send in another um, 
length of uh, DNA to correct a problem, you can see that uh, that section of DNA can get um, added to one's own DNA, and you now have a functioning uh, gene, whereas before you didn't. Now, one of these things that the scientists don't want to have happen is called off-target site cleavage. So in this case, you can see that the two pieces of nuclease have hooked together here with the targets uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Of course, these would be A, T, G, C, etc., those different nucleic acids. What happens with off-site cleavage is you get something where the two pieces of the nuclease get together because the uh, target DNA isn't quite what you were looking for, but it's similar enough that you end up with some binding, and then you end up with these two pieces of nuclease together, and they make a cut that you don't want. So Sangamo, through their uh, scientific research, has come up with a way uh, to make it precise, uh, specific, and efficient. Uh, they say so that they have almost no detectable off-target effects. So here are some of the diseases that Sangamo Therapeutics is working on. They have a phase three trial going for hemophilia A, and then they have uh, four diseases that are in other stages or phases. And then the preclinical ones are the uh, diseases that I actually find quite interesting. You can see there they're working on multiple sclerosis. They're working on Huntington's disease, which right now has no uh, cure at all. They're working on neurological diseases. Uh, one of those that they're working on with Biogen is Alzheimer's disease. So let's just see how this company is doing financially. You have before you here their uh, financial data for uh, September 30, uh, 2019 and 2020. The ones on the right are for uh, year to date, so nine months. So 2019, the revenue was 47 million. Uh, that doubled almost in 2020 to 92 million. If we work our way down to their losses, they were at 106 million uh, year to date for 2019, and they had decreased that uh, to 86 million. And if we come down to their balance sheet, you can see that for 2019, uh, their total assets 637 million, and that was increased to 963 million. So let's just look at what the analysts have to say about this. For the past few months, the consensus has been in the hold buy or strong buy. Nobody is saying underperform or sell. If we take that uh, total rating, uh, we get them in the buy uh, region. And then if we try to see what the analyst price targets are, we're looking at an average price target for the next 12 months of about $20.70. It's currently right around $17. Now, one thing to keep in mind for these genomic companies is that their stock prices can be very cyclical, very volatile. This is the lifetime stock chart for Sangamo Therapeutics. They have been up to $50 at one point, and you know, they're right around $17 now. And in between, look at that uh, rising and falling, rising and falling. Especially with a smaller company like this, it only takes just a few successes to see that stock price uh, skyrocket. Uh, case in point, think about Novavax, which started last year oh, during pandemic time. It was around $3 a share and rose all the way up well over $100. I think that Sangamo Therapeutics is a little bit of a speculative play. Well, more than a little bit. But, you know, at $17 a share, um, I think most people have a little room to speculate. The diseases that they're working on can be monumental. Obviously, many of the uh, big ones are still in preclinical phases, but they have some important partners that they're working with. Sangamo Therapeutics has the technology to provide the precise gene editing, and these partner companies that they're working with have the uh, knowledge and the wherewithal and the capital, really, uh, to use Sangamo's technology to do the research. The phase three trial for hemophilia A just started in October of this year. They will be monitoring those patients for 12 months to see if they reach the expected clinical endpoint, and then they'll also be monitoring them for five years uh, for disease recurrence. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. I think Sangamo Therapeutics is a worthwhile company uh, to look into. Uh, I, I think the stock price is fantastic for anyone who's new to investing or doesn't have a lot of uh, 
cash on hand to be able to invest. This is certainly not a company to uh, leverage yourself to be buying their stock. Please do your own due diligence looking into this company and really every company that you think you want to invest in. I am not a licensed financial advisor and I can't give you any recommendations. Until next time, enjoy your investing.